Hey there everyone, Redneck Brian here. I just got back from uh, Canadian Tire. I had to pick up a few things for Roper. Yeah, I'm going to finally put an oil pressure and voltage gauge in the Roper. Also, I picked up a new hole saw bit. I need this to be able to drill through the dash on the Roper, also on the Red Rocket. Let me show you the Red Rocket. Remember from before, the gauges used to be up here, but the pod's broken. So, I'm actually going to put the gauges right down in here, hopefully. I know it will fit, but it's going to be a bit of a bugger to drill it. So, go one there, down, down there, and one up there. So, Or what I can possibly do is, maybe, if I can fit my drill in there, I'll drill it from the back side. We'll see. And then on the roper, the main reason is I don't know if I can get that steering wheel off. So... And on here, I'm just going to drill it probably right there. Yeah, right around there. Don't know what that is. Uh, it's probably for something that, uh, actually it's deck lift, I think. But it um, doesn't have it, so. So anyways, uh, as you can hear, the kids are out at school, so I don't really want to do too much videotaping out there. So stay tuned until I uh, get the holes drilled. Also, I gotta do a uh, oil change on this generator. Um, got some water, had some water in it. Water's out of it now. I just gotta put some fresh oil and a new filter on it. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back again. Um, as you may or may not notice, it's a little bit darker out now. Unfortunately, I had, I had to run back out the Canadian Tire. The oil pressure gauge was actually broken, so I had to get a different one of those, and I had to get a different bit to drill it through. I the one I picked up one. Let me find it here. This might be in my pocket. Here, here it is. Hole saw bit, but it was actually only wood and plastic, so it worked perfectly on this one. But this actually has a metal dash. I thought it actually had a plastic dash because all this up here is plastic, but this is metal. So I had to go out and get a different bit, which is still in my drill right here. And I was able to find one that has the key chank in it. You could buy them separately or you could buy one with it. And this one here, of course, didn't fit. So, so anyways, I'm done for now. I'm going to hook them up tomorrow. It's starting to get dark out. I won't have a chance to get them hooked up. As you can see, they're in on here. I had to do a little bit of modification right here. Just had to clearance it a bit for the uh, voltage. A few of you are probably wondering, well, why didn't I just take out the old voltage on this side? These are glass face, that's plastic. And if my keys are in here, I don't want them to bang and crack the gauge. So it's easier to put it on the choke side. I had clearance a little bit right here, this inner support, but it's not uh, not harming anything. And I got room, I can get my, uh, I can get everything on there perfectly fine. Actually all the connections are still up on the hood for this, right here. And actually I was able to keep the, um, because I said the, the other gauge was garbage anyways, they allowed me to keep the fittings from the other gauge. So I will be able to shorten that oil pressure line. Basically just run it straight from the motor up to here. And the voltage gauge and all that wiring will be shortened. It's actually all this hanging out right here until till later on. So that's uh, pretty much it for these two for now. They're ready They're ready to go so I can't, I can't run this one now since it has no gauge hooked up. And that one there can still be ran. So I'll put the battery back in. Put the battery in, or I'm going to look for the uh, bigger battery for it, and I'm going to try and put the bigger battery in it. So I got I got to get a different battery in this. Um, I don't have enough batteries as it is right now. Actually, I have enough, but uh, it's just finding which will fit where. That's that's the only issues I'm having right now. And these two here, they are the the, uh, the voltage is right up there, as you can see and the oil pressure is down there a bit, no big deal. Uh, it was, I was trying to put it up here, but there's actually some supports in here in the hood, so I was unable to do it, or sorry, for the dash. So I just moved it down there. And unfortunately, I broke my uh, kill switch for this, so I might have one, or I'll have to go and get another one. I forgot to grab one for that Canadian tire. So I may have one though, I just gotta look around. So that concludes this video, so I guess I'll talk to everyone later. Please keep it redneck like always, and please subscribe and comment.